Troops from all branches of the military came together with civilians and foreign soldiers at Fort Bliss for the 2014 Operational Contracting Support Joint Exercise. You know, we, don't, we don't always get, to get a chance to train with the Air Force and the Navy and the Marines. Uh, and on a regular basis, we'll hardly ever train with the uh, British Army or having somebody come in and observe us from, uh, from the French Army or stuff like that. Here, we all come together, train as one, learn how each other operate, and uh, later on down the road, we meet, meet down range or meet on some other contingency. We're a little bit more comfortable with each other, knowing that we all have trained a standard at one time or another, and we understand each other a little bit better. The exercise focuses on training the military and contractors to allow a more efficient working relationship in the event of a natural disaster. I attended training twice before I actually did my first deployment, and it was valuable in the sense that I was able to identify the, uh, the tasks that I needed to plus up my training on before actual deploying. If I hadn't been to the training, those, those individual tasks as far as in my MOS and contracting, I wouldn't have known that I didn't know enough about them. So coming here, I was able to do a self-assessment of myself, find out what I needed to plus up on, and when I got back to my home station, uh, trained up harder on it, and it paid off dividends during my uh, deployment. The training includes events like the Engagement Skills Trainer, which is a simulator that helps with marksmanship training on multiple types of weapons in many types of environments. Army Sergeant Travis Delzell, 16th MPAD, Fort Bliss, Texas.